Um, hello guys, today we're going to be here, we're going to be talking with Sabrina, and my question for you today is, um, and why I brought you on here was, how does your project engage with audiences and how would it be distributed on real media text? And my first question for you is, is who is your audience? Like, what is your audience? Well, our product will be more directed at younger viewers because it has to do with new technologies and social medias. YouTube video bloggers are from this generation, and that is what our main character is. Okay. And where are you going to, like, advertise this? Well, our product creates a sense of fear, and people that like horrors or teenage dramas will see our poster, billboard, or trailer and be interested in our film. We will put out short clips or teasers on different platforms like Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. I also had the idea to put a bunch of posters or billboards out with the title of our film and our main character in a different place on each poster with the killer in the background. Oh, that's pretty, pretty cool. And how are your audiences going to tell where or who the killer is? Well, our killer will always be in the shadows or the fog directly behind her or you'll hear a sound or something. You, you'll just know. And um, are you focusing on more of the Western or horror part of your film? We are not focusing on the horror part as much as we wish we could have, but we more want to foreshadow that our stalker is a cowboy and he will wear clothes and accessories that you would see in a Western film. Horror and Westerns have proven to be a strong com combination throughout the years and is this lesson on the history of historic horror Western shows. Okay, and what is your film that, what is the film that gave you like inspiration for this? Well, there was quite a few, but the one that comes to mind is the movie Halloween from 1978, so kind of an oldie. There is music, and then later on in the movies, we see that every time the killer is after someone, this music plays, and that someone could die. So my partner and I thought we would combine this with the, f the fog, instead of, so you could hear the sound of the fog instead of music playing. And we will probably pick a certain sound sometimes, or maybe in the beginning, to show that our killer is near. Oh, that's pretty cool. And that's all the questions I had for you today. And let us know if you guys have any other questions. And we'll bring Sabrina back. Oh my god.